when the flag went up at Mount Suribachi, we had no idea what was going on. We were too busy in our own little realm to pay any attention to what anybody else was doing. But it changed the whole attitude of the whole thing. It absolutely did something to us. Much of that afternoon, I do not remember, and I'm, I'm positive that fear wiped a lot of that memory out. I'm convinced of that. The captain, having lost a great number of his Marines, called for a meeting of all NCOs and officers. We only had a couple officers left. But he called a meeting in a great big shell crater. He was looking for ideas. How do we do this thing? What, what can we do to make progress and not get people killed? So he was asking others for ideas. And he looked over at me and he said, do you think you can knock out some of those pillboxes with a flamethrower? So he said, well, I'll give you some Marines. And he gave me four, two automatic riflemen, two riflemen. And their instructions were to protect me. And I got strapped flamethrower on my back and started crawling toward the pillboxes. Now these pillboxes were reinforced concrete, covered over with sand, and you could drop a artillery or a bomb or whatever on the top of that thing. There was three or four foot of sand on top of it. It blew a lot of sand out, but it certainly did not penetrate the pillbox. We finally got some tanks ashore, but uh, they were only good for a short distance because they bogged down. They bellied out and the tracks would just sit there and dig, but it wouldn't go anywhere. Japanese had dug trenches between these pillboxes, and they could crawl from one to the other and escape grazing fire. So we started out of this shell crater. We finally got close to that pillbox, and I can remember bullets ricocheting off of my air tank. And I don't know why I was smart enough to figure out that if I crawled closer, he couldn't get me. If I went backwards, he would have got me. And I got him. The other vivid memory I had was another pillbox. I was trying to get to it and couldn't. Every time I would start, he would, he would get too close for comfort, and I'd back out. And uh, so I crawled around out of his sight and over up to the pillbox, went up the side, got up on top of the pillbox, and here was a pipe just about the size of my flamethrower nozzle. So I just... <laughs> Somebody said there were 17 in there. I don't know. I have no idea. But I got that one, knocked that one out. One other one I approached, apparently they ran out of ammunition. That's the only thing I can figure. But I was getting close enough that I could get my flame into the pillbox. And they came charging. There were five or six or whatever. When the flame hit them, they stopped because it just... <laughs> took all the oxygen out of the air, and they just fell over. Seven pillboxes I got that afternoon in four hours. Don't ask me how I did it. I don't have any idea how I did it. And I never got touched. They never got me. You've got a job to do for which you're trained. You've got to do it for the people around you, for the other Marines. And two of them got killed protecting my life. So. This medal belongs to them. It really doesn't belong to me.